We are doing the Lewis structure of carbon dioxide. To do the Lewis structure, the first thing we do is to count the valence electron. The valence electron for carbon, because it belongs to group 4, is 4. And the valence electron for oxygen is 6 times 2, that's 12. Therefore, the total valence electron comes to 16. The step 2 is you decide on the central atom. The central atom, carbon is the central atom in this case. And then we know the valency of carbon is 4. Therefore, with carbon as a central atom, we write the Lewis structure as uh, with a single bond. Then to uh, satisfy the valency of carbon and oxygen, we can put in a double bond between the two carbons. Or we can say that to complete the octet of carbon, we get a double bond between the carbon and the oxygen. So now we need to know how many electrons are left behind. So let's calculate the lone pair. With uh, 4 bonds, 8 electrons are gone. From the total valence electron, 16 minus 8, we get lone pairs of 4, which is on the oxygen, to complete the octet of oxygen. So now when you, uh, the structure, you get oxygen has 2 lone pairs uh, on it, with carbon, no lone pair. Now the last, next thing what we do is, we need to uh, find the, uh, formal charge on carbon and oxygen. So the formal charge is calculated from the valence electron, the lone electrons and the bond. And we find that carbon has a val uh, formal charge of 0 and oxygen also has a formal charge of 0. This is in accordance because carbon dioxide as well is a non-polar neutral molecule. Then come to the step 6 where we need to calculate the, find out the hybridization of it. So looking at the carbon dioxide molecule, you see that the central atom carbon is attached to two atoms, the two oxygens. And therefore, I have two bond groups and I don't have any lone pair and it is a type AB2 type molecule. Therefore, the hybridization of the central atom is S and P or SP. And now we need to predict the geometry of the molecule. The electron geometry, because it has two bond pairs and SP hybridization is linear. And as such, the central atom, carbon, has got no lone pair and hence the geometry of the molecule is linear. Even the molecular geometry of the molecule is linear. So let us just sum up what we learned so far. The Lewis structure of carbon dioxide as shown with the lone pairs on oxygen and no lone pair on carbon. The hybridization of the central atom, the carbon is sp. The electron domain geometry is linear and the molecular geometry is also linear. Therefore, this has a bond angle of 180.